The guitar, you can find your letters on the fretboard a few different ways. So one of the ways is your open string, whatever the letter is, like the smallest string here, this happens to be an E. And if you played that on fret zero, that would be our E. But if you add all these metal bars all the way up until you reach your 12th fret, usually this has two marker dots, 12 frets higher, you could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And up here, you would find your high E. So these are two E's, a zero fret E, plus 12 on the same string is E. But as you go across the strings, there is an interesting pattern. Um, you can find E's crossing strings in a different pattern. This is where it gets a little bit more involved. Generally, it's plus five frets, except for one special combo. I'll show you what I mean. So if you play the smallest string, open E. The next one, if you count your frets up, one, two, three, four, five, over on the next string is also E. So from here to there, five frets higher from the smallest string to the second string is also E. Now, the distance between these two strings is plus four. All the other ones are plus five. So check out the plus four distance from the second and third string. So now if you're on here on E, you go to the next string plus four, one. So this would be one fret higher, two frets higher, three frets higher, four frets higher, that's also E. So what we just did there was plus four frets. So we're trying to find different patterns in here that help us find our way around the fretboard. That was one plus two plus three plus four from E to E. Now each string is going to continue that pattern. Um, so the next string over we would plus five and then we would continue from there. But let's just start with, with those there. I'm gonna show you another way to look at it. So if you take all your strings, you've got the open E, we're gonna plus five now to the next string. One, two, three, four, five. There's our E. The next string is B. This one happens to be plus four to the string larger. One, two, three, four. That was plus four frets from B to the next string bigger. The G, string G, if you go to the next string bigger, it is a plus five. So one, two, three, four, five. This is the G, the same G as this G. The next string over, D, open, zero frets. This is our plus five. One, two, three, four, five. This string to the next string over is also plus five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have plus five from the distances of each string. First string to second string, plus five frets. This is the only strange one. I'm gonna use maybe a different color to indicate how it's different plus. Four. That's when you're moving the B note to the string larger. So the open B string is plus four. Now all your other ones here are plus five. String G to the next string open. One, two, three, four, five. That's our plus five. So again, these are all plus five except for the B. The D string to the next string bigger is also plus five. One, two, three, four, five, the same D. This string is open A, plus five. So if you'll notice, these are all plus fives. The only one that's not a plus five is the B note. This demystifies a lot of people because the guitar can be like learning six pianos. A piano usually is just going up one string back and forth. It's like the linear pattern of one fret at a time, forwards and backwards. The guitar zigzags and crosses and you get multiple of the same note.
which is partly why you can get so many different cool sounds, because each string has its own tonal character. So the E here and the E here, although it's the same high and low pitch, it has a different quality, just like if you were to imagine that each string was a different person singing. So say if I were to sing this E and you were to sing that E, we would sound like two different people singing the same E. If you imagine like each string is like a different person singing or a different, um, Segovia talks about that, that each string is like its own instrument or its own voice. They, although you can play the same letters, they have a different sound, like different instruments or different people singing the same notes. So these are some really helpful tips. Plus 12 on the same string is the same letter. Crossing strings is where it gets a little bit more involved, but the tuning in normal tuning is generally plus five on all the strings except for the B string, to the string larder is a plus four. Plus five, and B is plus four. So you can use that as you're drawing the charts. I highly recommend you guys grab one of these blank charts and write them in yourself. Just reading them and watching them and playing them doesn't really help us internalize it as well as I've found for myself and my students is when you draw it out, color code it, get used to it, it starts to create a map in your mind and in your fingers. So when you go back to playing it, you can really connect things through these mental models that we draw on these fret maps. And they're kind of fun. So draw it out. I'm gonna be having prizes and grants and offering uh, free lessons and awards for uh, students who draw these charts and share them. Uh, so check them out, have fun. Check out Make Music Here, Lava Guitar Lessons, Fred is Lava.